This screencast is about how you upload many GPS files from a training or competition to a 3D rerun for uh, analysis. Let's say you're a trainer and uh, have been organizing a training camp and want to do the analysis for, uh, for all of the members of the club. Then the first thing you have to do is to upload a map with route or without route, either by following the screencast add map with route, where you calibrate the map, or following the screencast add map without route, where you take one of your routes, upload it uh, via quick route, and uh, the screencast about that. Now I assume that you have uploaded a map, and what you want to do is to upload the rest of the GPS routes. Um, so let's choose each of the GPS files. I have prepared them all in one directory. This is actually from a competition in Arendal today and the GPX files in this case are downloaded from GPS Suranta, but of course you, uh, I'd usually have them from uh, GPS watches. So I start with uh, Agni Fjobsta Nielsen and uh, Middle Distance Arendal. Upload GPX file. The next, Heidi Buxtewall. Then we take the next, which is uh, Elise Exit. The next is Silje E. Toyaren. Then we have uh, Mari Fasting. We have uh, Lina Hagman. We have uh, Mali Fjogsta Nilsen. I go through all of it so you can see how fast you can do it for a uh, training or race with 10 or 15 runners. So here is the last in uh, my example. Tone Wigemi. Add her as well. Okay, so we have added 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 runners. We uh, find a map here map only, half cop Arnold D21. Actually I didn't do the calibration myself now but I could have done it easily myself. It would have taken five minutes like you can see in the other screencast about calibration of maps. So uh, now I add this map and uh, I open all routes maps in 3D rerun. So there we are. All the routes are added. The map is added. And we should be set for the analysis. That took a total of uh, less than uh, four minutes. The thing which takes time here is the loading of the map. Okay, here we are, the map. So uh, one interesting leg here is leg number eight to nine, so we can start all runners from number 8 and uh, we can see who is first to number 9 follow the camera go a bit out here we have Mari Fasting is starting faster than the others Elise Exit takes the route to the left And we see here how uh, Mari Fasting is the fastest to the control. We can also get up a table of the split times by clicking Alt and the left mouse button here at number 8. The same again at number 9. 
and uh, we get up all the root choices and we have a table down here which we can sort on time and we see my fasting is fastest with 5.34 ahead of Agni Fjogstad Nilsen, Sone Vigimi. Okay, then in the advanced menu here to the right we have a, an interesting possibility under analysis tools where uh, we can put up color by split time and uh, reanalyze the split and uh, now we see that the color of the line is according to split time so the green line is the fast one fastest one and when it gets slower it gets over to red so green is here red is here so for this particular leg there is no special trend about which route is faster than uh, the others we can do the same here for number one to number two again no special trend we have many yellow around here, we have a green one here, a red one all the way around but this is red due to a mistake on the control we can continue the same way for other controls but uh, we have no clear conclusions here either okay so that was it for this screencast thank you for using 3D Rerun, if you have any questions Please send an email and ask.